I wanted to add a small segment to my website for any of my patients that are interested in learning a little bit more about why I originally used textured devices and what's going on with the Allergan Voluntary Recall. First of all, we have to remember back in the 1980s, the primary reason that patients were having revision surgeries were capsular contracture, malpositions where implants shifted and moved, visible implants, palpable implants, and rupture of devices. Textured implants were introduced. They were a game changer at the time. Patients had long lasting, stable, beautiful results. Science changes, technology changes, and we get new information. There's currently a worldwide recall on any biocell textured devices. What that means is that patients who have these textured devices need to be more aware and alert of any signs and symptoms of a problem around their implants. What it doesn't mean is that patients need to rush in and remove their implants because no regulatory body at this time has indicated that that's necessary. What I also would like my patients to know is that news changes daily. That I like my patients to stay informed and I stay informed, which means that if we have an indication right now that patients should leave their implants unless they have a problem, that may change and that they should stay in touch with me and continue their routine scheduled follow-ups. For my patients that might have a little bit more anxiety about this issue, there is a Allergan recall policy whereby patients can receive an exchange of their implants from a textured device to a smooth device. It doesn't cover surgeries or films or pathology or any of the other expenses. So that's an added consideration when a patient needs to make a decision about moving forward or changing their implants. The most important thing is not to be fearful and to call my office or email my practice and that way we can make good decisions together because the only way you can move forward to safe surgery is to be really well informed.